Hey guys and welcome back to the money game with AC. So Palantir is one of the best performing stocks today, closing almost 9%. Intraday session, we did hit a new high, I mean, not a new high, but intraday, you know, for the day, 25.62. It's been a while. I can't remember the last day that Palantir, Palantir was up more than 2% at the top. And today it just went to the roof. And it's not the only stock as a matter of fact that went up we can also look at tesla for example tesla also went up um 8.6 percent on the day of course the market was kind of great because if you look at the the nasdaq the nasdaq did close at uh, um, um 1.05 percent and this is this is i mean whenever you have rates going down definitely you can expect the tech sector to benefit from that and it's acting like a tailwind all right and then the consumer price data index or the inflation data that we're, we, we would save this morning but not as bad i mean according to my personal opinion just because i mean we've been locked down for almost a year and now everyone is sitting on huge amounts of savings you know so if people or whenever people are willing to spend money they will not look that much on prices you know and with the supply chain being you know disrupted last year with covid i mean you can expect only some of you know the things that we buy on a daily basis to increase but i think the market is kind of adjusting especially you know the institutions kind of rotating back into the tech sector if you look at example um, um the three last days you know has been kind of interesting for um the nasdaq uh, if you look at some major stocks like apple for example okay so Apple for the last three days, you can see it's been continually going up. If you look at um, Palantir as well, you know, same pattern. For the, so the last five days, it's been continuously going up, you know, even though we had kind of a 25.55 on the 12th. But yeah, the, the, the making new, new highs and uh, uh, higher lows. And then same thing here for um, Tesla. Uh, all right, so for the last five days, you know, it's been continuously and steadily and, you know, aggressively going up. So if you take, for example, another one, Microsoft, you know, same pattern uh, uh, um, here, you know, so it, it, it seems like there is an, a, a rotation here going back into um, the tech sector now that, you know, the market or investors are realizing that interest rates or the inflation might not be as a worrisome you know, uh, uh, issue for the growth ahead of us just because, I mean, whenever we'll start having corporate earnings, you know, kicking off, especially with, you know, uh, companies in this specific sector and for Palantir as well, it's just going to be crazy just because, you know, there's been so many, you know, rumors around contracts that Palantir have been, you know, signing, getting, renewing left and right within the commercial space, okay? I think one of the major issue or the major fears or concerns that some of the institutional investors have about Palantir market uh, uh, growth it's there are not as much you know present into the commercial sector as they are into the government sector okay and I think the fact that Palantir is getting to attract and to you know lock in more and more you know big companies such as BP you know there are rumors about you know signing with RBS I mean, RBC, Royal Bank of Canada, uh, um, um, other, you know, private companies. Facebook is another one, you know, there's been a partnership with Microsoft. So I think they are trying to carefully being um, a public about those details just because first, I think they want to be cautious about, you know, details around, you know, the, the pricing or the amount of the contract. But also, I think they're being more careful to, you know, kind of have a surprise effect whenever they have uh, um, the, the earnings for Q1 um, to be released. So that is one. Another thing is Demo Day. Demo Day is tomorrow at 11 uh, a.m. Eastern time. And Demo Day, if you remember the last Demo Day we had uh, 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 in 2020, was it 2020 or February? I can't remember exactly. I think it was last year or last quarter. Man, it was crazy. Right after that, uh, the price just increased. You know, I think it was somewhere around here where we, 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 we visited or touched or flooded with the $30 uh, um, uh, levels for, for Palantir. Maybe wrong on the dates, don't, don't quote me on that, guys. But it, just to tell you, demo days are always interesting for Palantir because there is such a mystery. And by mystery, I mean admiration around how 
you know, smart, how intelligent, how powerful the tools that they have. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's Foundry or, you know, Gotham or all the programs that they've been working on, you know, and recently they've been also you know, the high uh, 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 IL-9 clearance around um, 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 artificial intelligence uh, uh, um, certification that they're being, you know, working on in order to get a major contract with, you know, the Pentagon and the U.S. Army, I mean, the U.S. government around, you know, the Army going bigger on developing technology on AI to give them a competitive edge around other nations. I mean, guys, um, um, lots, lots, lots of things into, you know, the pipe for, Palantir to be acted as catalyst, but one of the major driver of this search today might also be attributed to um, um, the Reddit guys. You know, Palantir is one of the favorite meme stocks, and it seems like they've been you know targeting Palantir just because it's one of the high shorted stocks. I mean, depending uh, b b besides what we saw recently on the sell off with the tech sector with the whole inflation thing, the risk thing, and also uh, 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 a lot of insiders have been selling, including um, Peter Thiel. So, um, I mean, it, it, it's also part of it, but definitely they are, <clears throat> excuse me, they are definitely looking at Palantir into their radar to cause kind of a short squeeze. I don't know exactly how you can, you can post it, but you know, there are a lot of people also shorting Palantir. So it may have been as played uh, um, as well. And finally, you know, I've been Coming into this article around um, 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 Palantir could reign in Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is attaining, uh, attain a new major, you know, uh, um, high today. I think it was around 63,000. And at some point, we were even up at 63 and $500,000 for Bitcoin. So it is crazy how fast this thing is going but it doesn't surprise me just because there are a lot more companies getting in and palantir may have been one of the companies you know that you know may be tied indirectly or or, or directly within uh, uh um, the crypto space as they are helping you know um um privacy balance um, to the irs i mean to the irs when it comes to um, tax evasion so um, if you look at the share price of Palantir and Tesla today. I mean, these two companies are also really, or maybe tied directly or indirectly. We do know that Tesla have 1.5 billion they bought of Bitcoin a couple of months ago. So um, um, it may be also one of the reasons behind the huge search uh, uh, um, on Palantir today. So all that to say, guys, Palantir definitely, you know, as the tech sector is increasing, as we mentioned it at the beginning of the video, I definitely think Demo Day will be another big catalyst on the market and on, uh, I mean, pushing the price towards the, 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 not necessarily 35 or 40, at least, you know, if we can get back to 27, I think that's achievable by the end of this week. But, you know, you never know with the stock market. We can also, you know, um, 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 either stabilize at 25 or even go back to 23. You just never know. But I definitely see this as a big catalyst. But personally, I'm holding a big chunk of Palantir stock that I got pre-IPO and my, you know, I'll, I'll start really being concerned about the price in you know five years six years ten years from now just because this is definitely at least easily a hundred dollar comp i mean hundred dollar uh, stock price so they are they are into big things when it comes to data analytics ai and every every other stock so yeah if they are tied to bitcoin man that's another big 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 catalyst coming their way so yeah that's that, those are my two cents guys let me know what you guys think about Palantir in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.